We do. We have a number of robots installed in applications where we would take uh, candies and load them into assortment trays. So the kind of things you may get from, uh, um, you know, the shape of a heart for for Valentine's Day or the shape of a pumpkin for Halloween. And the great applications for robots because they need the flexibility because the the assortment trays change um, in shape and and the kind of chocolates you can put in there. Um, the way the sequence would work is that the trays actually move the whole time. So the, the, the assortment tray that you're building is on a conveyor and it never stops so that they can get the efficiencies. So the robot actually has to be, have the ability to actually track and put a chocolate into a tray on as the tray is moving by. So what happens is the, there is a vision system that is over the in-feed conveyor. The vision system will take a picture of the chocolates and tell the robot which chocolate is available to be picked up. Uh, the robot would go to that location, turn on a vacuum um, gripper and, and, and uh, pick up the uh, part. Uh, it would then go and move over the conveyor belt that has the, the assortment tray on it and then it will, it will sink its speed up to that assortment tray and as it goes by it will place its chocolate in the appropriate location. Um, and that generally that location was probably pre-taught already. The robot knew which location to go to. Now what makes these applications so difficult is that the robots need to do this um, at, at um, in, in some cases, as many as 100 times a minute. So um, be able to go pick up a chocolate, orient it, and place it in the tray as it goes by uh, almost twice a set, two times a second. So um, very, very high speeds. And um, uh, that's typical of applications today where, where a vision system tells the robot how to pick something up or how to place it, and, uh, and then the robot can go and move to those locations.